Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to do a tutorial using AOMEI's Partition Assistant Home Edition and demonstrate how you can recover a deleted partition on your hard drive. Now, let me start the program. And we're back at the main screen. Uh, what we're going to do is, now we need to keep in mind that no software will promise that they can recover deleted files and partitions and all that. It depends on how recently it was deleted. Now what happens is, now I've explained in this in other videos about hard drives, what happens is when you delete something, such as a partition, the data is still intact. That's right, it's still intact on the hard drive. Even though it's flagged for deletion and the operating system doesn't show it, it is still there. Now, depending on how recent the partition was deleted, the bet the sooner that the later or well let's see they uh, the more recent that it was deleted the better chance you have to recover it if it's been a month or two ago since you deleted it you know the, the longer you wait to recover it the slimmer the chance it is that you're going to be able to recover the partition or the data that was in that partition now here we're going to see our disk drives. As you can see here, it's showing all four of mine. We're going to work with disk number three. Now, to recover a partition, it's very simple. We're going to use the wizard that the program provides. If you look to the left, you'll see I've got the partition discovery wizard right here. We'll click on that. You'll bring up the window here to where it welcomes you to the Partition Recovery Wizard. Now, the wizard here wants to know what drive we're going to search. Now, remember, we've got disk 3, we got here, which I have here, it's highlighted. Now, as you can see, there's nothing on there, and it says it's unallocated. Now, the previous video I did, when I showed you how to migrate the operating system from one drive to the other, this is my same guinea pig. Now, there were two uh, partitions on the drive, and I'm going to show you how to recover them. So let's go back to Partition Recovery Wizard. The wizard is pretty much the program that walks you through it. And he just tell it what to do, and it'll do the rest. Now, as we come here, we'll need to do highlight disk 3, as I did here. Now, your computer may be different. This computer here has three hard drives in it. That's why I'm doing disk 3. Your computer may be slightly different. Now, we got it highlighted, and again, it shows you up here that it's disk 3, it's unallocated. Now we need to choose next. Now, it will give you two choices. The first choice, which is selected, is called the fast search. And it's recommended preferred method. The option will quickly find out deleted or lost partitions. If the partitions cannot be searched with the method, you could try to use full search, which is another option, but it is slower. Now, the full search is the option that will scan each sector of the selected disk, so this will be more time-consuming. Now, if the first one fails, then you can try this one, even though it will take longer, but 
at least you have a backup plan, so in case the fast search doesn't find anything, you have a better chance with a full search. Now, keep in mind, you know, the more recent you deleted it, the better chance you had to recover it. Now, most computers that I've worked on, it's usually because they deleted the recovery partition, which I've explained before what that was in the uh, migrating the OS. And people deleted it. And, you know, this program would come in handy if you do the same thing. If you accidentally deleted it, this would be a good bet to get it back. Now, I'm going to do a fast search because it's been recent since it's been deleted. And I'm going to choose next. Now, as you can see, it's done a fast scan. And now it's showing the partitions that had been found. And, if you'll look, it says here the partition, which is zero. Uh, anytime the computer starts with something or the hard drive does, it always starts with a zero. That's the first number. Now, as you can see here, it says that the OS, we'll highlight it, is partition number zero, and it was named OS. It tells you the capacity that the partition was. It tells you the sector that it started. And it tells you the sector that it ended. And tells you what kind of pro uh, uh, partition that it was. In this case, it was a primary. Now, another thing that you can do is explore for files in the selected partition. Now, we can highlight it, and it shows you on the diagram where the partition was located. And if you click the other one, it shows you where the other one was. Now, if you uncheck them both, you can see it don't show you any of the partitions. But it does show you which ones it did find. But if you check it, it shows you where that partition was located. Now, let, we can explore for files that was in the partition, so let's click on that. And there you go. This is all the files that were contained in that partition. And you can scroll through it. If there's something you're looking for, you'll know if the partition contained it. Now, we can select this one and do the same thing. Oh, let me uncheck that one and check that one. And again, this is the uh, files and folders that were listed in the second one. And it's, this will come in handy because if you're looking for the, if the partition had something, this will give you an idea to look for it. Now, you can't just recover an individual file if it's in the partition. You have to restore the whole partition. So, let's collect, get them both checked. You have to be sure that you check both of them or check, be sure the partition you want to restore is checked. And as you can see up here, it shows it's got a little plus sign showing that it's going to recover those. Now, once you get them selected that you're going to recover, choose Proceed. Now, if you have any questions, you can click on this, the Help button here, and it will bring up the, the Help Wizard to, you know, if you need help to what you need to do, and it explains what... Uh, steps that you could take and it also gives you things to what to expect from recovery uh, what we're going to do is we got everything selected we're going to recover now choose proceed now depending on the complications that it comes across you know about recovering the data as I said it depends on how recently it was deleted. The more recently it was deleted, the easier it is to recover it. And since this was deleted yesterday, well, actually it was a few days ago, 
that it's not having any trouble to restore it. Of course, I haven't had anything recorded on the drive either. Now, when it's finished, it will say congratulations that the partition has been recovered successfully. And now I can review the partition with Windows Explorer. Now, it says if you cannot see the partitions, please assign a drive letter or reboot the computer. So, you may need to reboot the computer or just assign a drive letter to make so you can view it. And that's all. Now you can click finish. Wait for the program to reload the drive. And there you go. Disk 3 has been fully restored. Now you'll notice that autoplay uh, started up with uh, OSF. Remember, here's the drive right here. We just restored it. And when it was reloaded, the operating system found it and wants to uh, run autoplay. So that means if I go, go to start and then click computer, now my, uh, my operating system is showing again. You can see these two right here. And this is basically how you restore a deleted uh, partition. And keep in mind, the longer it's been that the partition has been deleted, the harder it is to recover the partition. So keep that in mind. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Thank you for watching.